All right, in the last video, we uh, figured out how to derive an expression or an equation uh, to figure out what the distance would be between uh, two parallel roads, and that was uh, the parameter p. In this video, we're going to look at the parameter x, uh, which is the transition length. And if you remember, the transition length is uh, the length uh, from BC1 to EC2, or the distance that it takes a reverse compound curve to transition between this road and this road. Remember, these two roads are parallel to one another. Okay, so if we looked at the derivation for x, um, uh, this is how we would get it. So if we look back at this curve, uh, in the last video we actually saw two triangles, this triangle here, right, and this triangle here. So we have a triangle uh, for each of the two curves. x would be simply the sum of this distance plus this distance. And this distance starts here where this dashed orange line we drew in the last video intersects this blue line here. And it's the x1, I'm going to call that x1, x1 is the distance uh, from this point to the PRC, the point of reverse curvature and x2 would be the distance of the point of reverse curvature uh, to this point where, it, where this dashed line intersects this vertical green line. Okay, And if we remember from the last video, this distance from origin 1 to P, PRC is radius 1. And the distance from origin 2 to PRC is radius 2. These two radii become the hypotenuse um, hypotenuses, is that even a word, a plural of hypotenuse? Um, they become the hypotenuse of this triangle and this triangle, right? So x1 is the distance from here to here, okay? So x, or x, which is the transition length, sometimes it's denoted L, is the sum of x1 plus x2, right? And x1, which is this distance here, well, if this is radius 1, and this is an interior angle the, uh, delta, this distance here would be r1 sine of delta, right? Geometry. Plus x2, which is, again, if we look at this, this is r2, this is the hypotenuse, this is a right angle, or a right triangle, and this angle here is delta, this distance would be r2 sine delta, right? Now we can simplify this a little bit more. We can actually take out the sine theta or sine delta. I'm sorry, I keep getting delta and theta confused. We can take those two, um, we can factor those out and we'll get sine delta is equal to r1 plus r2. And actually it was really that simple. So the transition length, which is x or sometimes l, is sine of delta times the sum of the two radii, of these two reverse compound curves. Okay? And remember x is called the transition length, the length it takes uh, for a curve to transition between one parallel road uh, to the other parallel road, right? Um, in the next video, we'll actually do a quick little example to kind of solidify all this information. Uh, so see you then.